Uh, yes, yesterday after my talk, people asked me a couple of times, hey, what is this uh, CPU or what is this running on this FPGA? So I thought I'll give a short talk about what I'm actually planning to do and what I did. Um, so it's about synthesizing HDL to uh, 74 series logic chips. Um, so I started this summer holiday, like, I'm, I'm not going to build a, uh, my own CPU, that's useless, I'll do something interesting instead. Or, and then this tweet came by, it's like, hey, uh, you can now uh, tell Yosis to uh, generate 7.4 logic, and then I was like, I am going to build a CPU now. Um, and then I defended this to myself, okay, well, I'll improve GHDL in the process, and then it's sort of semi-useful. Uh, so that's what I've been doing. Um, this project is basically, it works, you reach HDL, whatever uh, Yosis supports, then you synthesize with uh, a Liberty file that specifies uh, the, the, the 7.40 logic chips, uh, export it to JSON or Verilog can do post synthesis simulation or whatever you want. Then I wrote a script that, is, that generates a keycard netlist from this uh, and you can just place and route this either yourself or with tool assisted things, order a piece to be and have fun with it. Um, and then of course the first thought is like, what if you take some random PCB from the web and uh, make a PCB out of it? Uh, if you take Pico RV, it, uh, it takes quite a few chips. <laughs> so <laughs> I started with something more manageable. I made a, a PWM thing that sort of breathes a LED on and off. And you can check this video or Google it or whatever. And it worked the first try. I sold it a PCB, so it was kind of, kind of neat. <laughs> uh, but then the next step is, of course, now an actual CPU. And, of, and I tried several cores on the web. Uh, and the smallest I could find was like 300, 400, 500 chips in that era. So I was like, I need to make a really, 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 really tiny CPU uh, to synthesize and, and build a PCB in less than 100 chips. Um, so the presentation that I gave yesterday was basically running on this CPU, but then uh, synthesized to FPGA because the PCB is not uh, ready yet. Uh, but it's, it's written in VHDL and uh, synthesized using GHDL and has also formally verified uh, partially in Verific and uh, the, the uh, symbiotic EDA because the uh, GHDL was sort of ongoing in parallel to this. But this, the ALU, as I showed yesterday, is in, in, uh, in GHDL completely open source. Uh, yeah, so the, this is ongoing, and, uh, but that's what was going on yesterday with the run my presentation.